Oh my God, so much information flying at you, leaving you confused and bewildered about what it means, how it affects you, and you wanna know what's going on with the Palm Springs market. Oh my God, stay tuned. I'm gonna break down the data for you and explain how it affects you as a buyer or seller. Hi there, it's me, Stefan Burchard, the Desert Bowtie Realtor here in the Greater Palm Springs region. I record and post content here about the local market and the desert lifestyle because I love what I do and I believe real estate should be fun and easy. Check back because I post content every other Wednesday. So you're here for the market update, but you're not quite sure how the state affects you. Great! I'm going to break it down for you, so let's get to it. Median prices. The valley median price for single family homes is just above 680,000. That's about 31,000 higher than last month, which is 8.2% higher than last year. We're now 4% below the peak of $710,000. Condos closed at 434,000, which is 11.6% below its peak since months ago and down 1% from a year ago. Now those numbers are valley wide. You can find them on the chart I send out every month where there's a breakdown for each of the cities. This information is important because it gives you an idea of where the current prices are and which direction prices are going in any of the nine desert cities. Buyers and sellers get a rough idea on prices for the valley for a particular city. The percent change gives you an idea of how prices are moving and it also reveals any trends. This is just a rough idea. If you need more detailed information about neighborhoods or subdivisions, give me a call, text, or email. I'll be happy to take care of you. I stay on top of this information monthly. It's easy for me because I'm a big old data nerd and I love statistics. Who would have thunk it? I hated statistics in college. Months of supply. For the Valley, it currently stands at three months, which is down slightly from last month. In other words, if no new homes are added for sale, then we have three months worth of inventory to sell at the current sales tempo. This is also known as the attrition rate. It shows how quick homes are selling. The higher the demand, the lower these numbers will be, depending on inventory, of course. I'll get to that later. Days on market. Days on market is the average time on market for a property, valley-wide. This number can be higher or lower depending on any particular city or subdivision. Currently, our average days on market is 48 days, which is up eight days over last month and 21 days from a year ago. It's creeping back up to our pre-pandemic average of about 65 days. Sellers can get an idea of how long it may take to sell a home in each of the cities because it's broken down in the full report. Buyers get an idea of how long homes may be on the market on average. If a home has been on the market longer than this, the seller, hmm, they might be willing to negotiate. You never know. Inventory. Inventory is the number of properties that are available for sale. Our inventory currently stands just above 1,900 units, which is slightly below last month, but 1,349 more than a year ago. This number means nothing without observing the trends over time. Looking back over time, you can see how this inventory number has been decreasing steadily since 2017. This reveals an increase in demand and shows the resulting market activity for desert properties. Also, you can see before 2020, our seasonal ups and downs that were pretty normal in our market. Notice what happened after March of 2020. You can see the result in our inventory due to the unusually high demand. Really unusually high demand. <laughs> January of last year, we had about 607 properties for sale. Now we're seeing just above 1956, which means that we are seeing some balance to our normal market. Normal market. Sales volume, also known as average unit sales. This is the actual unit sales activity that happens from month to month. For the Greater Palm Springs region, this is broken down into two groups, a three month average and a 12 month average. Because of our seasonality, that affects our sales activity. We break it down into two different graphs. For the three month average, we currently have combined total of 449 homes sold. Before the pandemic, February sales averaged around 717 units per month. So sales are still running 37% below average. Notice how the graph jumps up and down as it follows our seasonal pattern. Pre-pandemic, you can see how it followed a regular seasonal pattern. During the COVID rush, it shot up to over a thousand units per month and got as high as 1300 units. Compare this to our average of 700 units. That's like double the activity. The 12 month average removes that seasonality and shows how homes are selling year to year. Notice there are no seasonal ups and downs on this graph. However, it did shoot up during COVID and now is slowly getting back down to what we would consider our normal activity. You can see the relative stability in the three years prior to COVID on this graph and how it is slowly returning to what it was previously. 
This metric shows buyers and sellers how many homes are selling desert-wide and indicates demand. We are down about 35% from our pre-pandemic averages. High sales and low inventory always pushes prices higher. Low demand and more inventory, like we have now, prices begin to soften. Selling over list price. This shows how many homes are selling above list price. This graph shows demand, however more importantly the level of competition. Last year, more than 44.4% of homes were selling above list price. Currently, we're at 12.8%. Buyers and sellers are now seeing less competition and homes are selling close to list price. I believe if a home is priced well, it sells at list or over list price. Pricing is really important and it's key to creating interest in the property. I hope you understand this data a little bit more, but more importantly, how it affects you as a buyer or a seller, so you can make more informed decisions with confidence. My summary is that the numbers show a slow return to pre-COVID activity. Our inventory is still down by about a thousand units from pre-pandemic levels. However, other figures are starting to look better and more like our normal. The low unit sales are a return to pre-pandemic seasonal patterns coupled with higher interest rates and inflation. The repercussions of the higher interest rates is it has slowed down our market activity significantly, roughly 40% down from pre-pandemic averages. Oh my God. By the way, the leading indicators of a recession are not going as predicted. They're showing a pretty healthy economy and economists right now are scratching their heads going, what happened? Please like, comment, and share this video with a friend or family member. Thank you for watching, and now, check out Birth of the Bowtie Realtor. Thanks. Why are you so fast? Yay. That's a wrap.